Hello everybody, my name is Marek Matuszewski and today we are going to talk a little bit about Power BI Gateway. We have a lot of clients which are asking us if it is possible to push the data which they have in the SharePoint on-premise, like SharePoint 2010, 2013, into cloud service like Power BI and to build uh, interactive reports which can be later on reshared for another users in cloud. Yes, it is possible. You simply need to install Power BI Gateway. How to do that? Let's check this out on my computer. I will show you a little demo how to do that. So as we can see here, we are on the on-prem environment of uh, SharePoint 2013. Here is um, some application tools and this is SharePoint 2013 Enterprise. And what we got on our SharePoint? We have a sample list uh, which is called people. And this list have 1000 items. And what we can see here, this is pretty straightforward. First name, last name, email, gender, department. So basically the people who are working in our company. Uh, I've already um, imported that list into my Power BI model and built something very easy and simple. Um, here, are, here are those fields from SharePoint on-prem. Uh, going on to edit queries and showing data source settings, I can prove you that this comes from that particular uh, SharePoint on-prem environment. So um, we have uh, different departments, 1000 count of email. It's every email is unique. So it's actually count of uh, people who are there, female, male, and I can even uh, filter here and find people within uh, name Smith. Okay, uh, if we have such a simple uh, basic report uh, build, we and we want to publish it into Power BI Online, we have to log into our Power BI Online uh, tenant, our, on our cloud service. We can do it by simply clicking right here. I'm already logged in. And if we are logged in, we can publish uh, that report. Of course, uh, Power BI will ask us um, always if we want to save changes before we um, publish the report. Uh, pretty straightforward. And now we have to log in um, to our account. So the login is already given. I have to provide my... Uh, keyword uh, password once again and we have uh, multi-factor authentication um, enabled in our tenant so I will just do it with my handy with my mobile I just approved with the app and uh, I should be logged in soon yeah that's the point where I have to uh, select the destination where I would like to publish the report okay make it as a sample to my personal uh, workspace. And now the name is AA Gateway Demo of that PEPIX file and also the report and data set right now uh, in our um, cloud tenant. So what we have to do now, we have to uh, log in to our uh, tenant where we have Power BI Online. And we see here, we are right now in cloud. And we see here there is a new data set, AA Gateway Demo. And if I, okay, and the report is also pretty straightforward with the same name over here. And now it is possible to, to uh, get to the report from the cloud. But if we just try to refresh the data set, we uh, become a, such an error. Sorry, we couldn't refresh because you have your data gateway not configured. Because those data come from the uh, environment um, which is on-prem, SharePoint on-prem uh, 2013 in that particular example. So what we have to do now? Just install that gateway on our server where the SharePoint is. So to do that, just simply click um, that download arrow and choose data gateway and download, gate, download Gateway, save it. As you can see here, the major differences between personal gateway and on-premises data gateway are shown here in that table. And this uh, decision have to be, um, you have to make a decision actually almost at the beginning, exactly right now. 
um, by choosing if it is on-premise, previously called enterprise, or personal. The difference, uh, the major difference is that personal will be managed only by you, and on-premise, previously called enterprise, uh, gives you a possibility to share it with another users um, in a cloud. So in that particular example, I just choose on-premise data gateway, and this gateway will now uh, be installed and will be working in context of the user which I will provide right now, the user which is in cloud. Um, so this is a pretty uh, <laughs> interesting reminder saying as that the gateway work best when it is installed on a computer that is always on and not asleep. Uh, in that particular example, we are installing on our server, so uh, don't worry. Um, the default installation path, accepting the terms of use, and install. Have a look how straightforward it is. Okay, and now that is uh, the part I've mentioned you at the beginning. So we have to provide the user in which context it is going to work, and the whole gateway in which context of which user is the gateway going to connect with our uh, Power BI uh, service in our cloud tenant. So uh, for that instance, I will provide the same user. And we're almost ready. Uh, we have to provide the name of uh, the new uh, gateway. So let us call um, new gateway demo, recovery key, just to remember if we would like to change anything in the future. We are already configured our on-premise data gateway on our uh, server. And now we have to uh, go into our cloud instance and Go over here, manage gateways. And as you can see, here is our new gateway demo. We're almost good to go. The only thing uh, is to add data source to use the gateway. The only thing we have to provide is to provide the same credentials and the same data sources we provided in our Power BI desktop file. So exactly here. Um, so our data source, you can check by clicking into edit queries, data source settings and change source and here we go you can copy the link and type it again in the power bi gateway here you go authentication method method is uh, windows was using uh, used at uh, in power bi desktop so and we have to provide a username so first very important the uh, the domain name and the user administrator and then the password for that user in which with within which we connected to the SharePoint on-prem and successful so to prove if our gateway really works um, before we prove that we have to check one last thing uh, we have to find our data set uh, AA gateway demo just created Go um, for those three dots and choose settings. And we have to say the Power BI to date that data set, please use that particular um, gateway we just configured. So as you can see here, um, gateway connection, here we have online new gateway. We just created gateway demo, then I just choose use that data gateway, apply, and we are good to go. And the last thing, prove and check if the gateway works. So how I can check it? Pretty straightforward. Open the report and check what we have here. Okay, 1,000 email accounts. So I go to my SharePoint right now. I can minimalize um, that browser and simply add new item. And I will simply add my, me myself. Uh, so this is my email address. I mail from department consulting and here's my full name. Okay, I will, I will just add myself to that list in the SharePoint on-prem 
and I will refresh the data set in the cloud. So go over here, go to data set and click that button, refresh. Preparing for refresh. Here is the time when the last refresh was done. So it just actualized. I suppose we are, should be good to go. So I click report again. And as previously we got 1,000 emails, we should have right now 1,001. And that's the fact. And here is another department consulting. I can find myself over here. Here you go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to contact me, then leave a comment below, give thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also go to our website, pbrdev.de. You can find everything about us. And as always, have a nice day. Are you still there? <laughs> exactly, I know why you're still there, because you're waiting for the information which inbound ports you as server administrator have to set free in your firewall. And the answer is none of them, because the Power BI gateway works only with outbound ports, which are shown and listed here below, uh, and the powerbi.microsoft.com slash documentation slash PowerPI gateway on-prem, you find all the listing of fully qualified domain names used by the gateway, and those ports are all outbound ports. I hope you liked that information, and as always, have a nice day!